Hi, I'm Bob Allison with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. Today we're going to be using a Sidekick plasma machine, so I guess you could say today I'm going to be Plasma Bob. Today we're going to be using a Shop Saber Sidekick plasma machine, and we're going to make a really neat product. It's actually going to be a fire pit that's made out of four separate parts, and they all fit together. Before we get started on this, let's take a look at the features of this machine. We build these machines in sizes from 4x4 all the way to 6x12, but what really sets us apart is the attention to detail and, and what we put in component-wise into these machines. These are all welded steel frames, and if you notice, there's at least six supports to support the weight. The larger machines even have more than that. And something else that we do that makes a really great machine is the gantry is actually structural steel all welded and there's eight inches of clearance underneath it. You put all that together and it makes a really, really good frame for a plasma machine. We use 25 millimeter precision contour guide rails in all the axes and we do that for a reason. That gives you really rock solid motion control. Then we actually create that motion with servos and we use servos because they have more power, they can accelerate and decelerate faster. That makes an improved cut, especially when you're cutting fine details with the plasma. Now we couple those servos with planetary drives in X and Y because that creates really, really rock solid motion and then that's driven by precision oversized rack and pinion. In the Z axis, we actually use a direct drive and a ball screw. You know, another really nice detail we put on these machines is how we handle the wiring. First off, it's robotic wiring. It's designed for continuous flex, so you don't have the breakages down the road after you've ran the machine a while. And we put that wiring in closed wire carriers, and we do that so we keep trash and debris outside of those wire bundles. The final part of motion control is actually the machine control itself. These machines feature our Shop Saber point and click control system. Here's what that means. It makes it really, really simple for your operator to be successful with the machine. There's no huge learning curve. You don't have to be an engineer to be successful at this. These machines are available with downdraft tables, with blow-through tables in case you want to create your own solution, or our most popular table, which is our water table. Now this basically is a shallow tank that holds water. There's pieces of metal that hold your material up, and we also put our plasma defense solution in there to keep everything from rusting. So it's a really, really nice setup. Now we've actually saved the cutting part for last. This machine has a hyperthorm torch. Uh, we also offer the machines without torches in case you already have one. I would highly recommend it if you don't already own the torch that you, you source it from us because that, that's all covered on our machine warranty. They're also available in different power supply sizes depending on what you want to cut. And of course this machine has our Shop Saber torch breakaway feature in case it collides with something. Now let me show you how easy it is to get a file ready to run on this machine. Shop Saber CNC plasmas are really, really easy to program. You know, sometimes we make signs with a plasma, sometimes we actually might make a bracket or some kind of hanger or something like that that we need a mechanical part. You know, we can actually make complete products with it. What I want to do in this video is actually show you how to make one of those products. In fact, with a plasma, I don't really need any other machines to do this. I can make everything on that product uh, with a plasma machine, and the product is a fire pit. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the drawing that we're going to download from our friends over at DragonDXF.com. So I don't really have to draw anything. And we're going to make it on the machine. Now you start with the software and let me show you how you do that. We use a software product called Enroute Fabrication with the Shop Saber CNC Plasmas. And we do that because it's really easy to use and it's designed for, for a, a plasma. The drawing that you see on the screen is actually what I got from uh, DragonDXF.com. So they provided that and you can see this this fire pit has four parts and they slot together right here. So it's, it's a really neat little project. Okay now let's uh, let's start thinking about the machine itself. Well how big is the machine table? How big do we want to make this? Let's go up here to machining to define plate and I'm going to say I want this to be the machine's actually uh, four by eight so that's that's the machine size and you see over here we're a little bit too big. So all I have to do is select it, go to Transform and Scale, and it's really simple. All I'm going to do is say how big I want that to be in X. I think I'll make it 48. That fits on the sheet. I hit Apply and Close, and now I can just take this and drag it down and put it on the machine, wherever I want on the table. So well, that looks pretty good right there. So that's the first step is actually to position it on the machine. Now let's look at what's required for tool pathing. 
plasma, we don't have router bits to worry about the diameters, but the torch actually has a diameter, so, and that's called a curve. So the first thing that we do to actually generate a toolpath is to select the material. We go up here to where it says toolpath, curve compensation. What I really want to define is the lead-ins and lead-outs, and, and that's what I've done right here. And we'll hit OK, and that generates our toolpaths. So there's the actual toolpaths. And we could run a simulation on that if we wanted to. It's really not necessary. Okay, now the next step from that then is to actually generate the G code that the machine's going to require. Let's do that. So we'll go to Machining Output, and we'll go to File, and we're going to call this uh, we'll call this Fire Pit. All right that generates the G code that the machine uses. Now I'm gonna send that out to the machine through the wireless network and let's go make a fire pit. Wow, our fire pit came out really, really nice. I wanted to show you a neat project that you can make with your Shop Saber Sidekick Plasma. It's a great example. You know, it doesn't take a lot of other equipment to do these. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.